Moving on, we've got this article courtesy of New York Post regarding Ozempic. Plastic surgeons are warning Ozempic face has taken over Hollywood. Hmm. I'm in two minds with this. I think sometimes this whole, whole Ozempic face thing, I have a feeling it's been blown out of proportion. I think the Ozempic thing is kind of similar to somebody going on a, it's somebody going on like um starving themselves, legitimately refusing to eat. If you refuse to eat, more than likely you're going to hollow out. You're going to lose a lot of muscle mass. You're not going to look, you know, fit skinny. You're going to look sickly skinny. So I think that's what Ozempic does because if I'm if I'm if I'm um if I'm correct, Ozempic is a appetite suppressant. That's what it's meant to help you with diabetes, right? Get your fucking eating under control. So if it does, you know, suppress your appetite and you are not eating as much, but you're not huge, huge, but you're still gonna lose a bunch of weight, you're probably gonna lose a lot of like muscle mass. You're probably gonna hollow out on your face. You're going to look like, you know, you've removed buccal fat from your face when you just, you know, have been looking sickly. So I think the whole Ozempic face thing is more to do with the people that are on it, not really needing to be on it. You know, maybe if you get Ozempic face, it's proof that you shouldn't be on it because you're dropping too weight, too much. And obviously you're not working out because I'm assuming that's also a byproduct of it. People just take Ozempic and don't want to work out because it's easier just to take the thing, which is also another you know sad indictment on society where like we've got this drug that can kind of help you get your weight down and instead of using it in conjunction with a balanced diet instead of using it in collaboration with a good workout plan people just take it and then go to sleep <laughs> and don't eat you know what i mean and then they wonder why they look like you know they've been in a concentration camp somewhere but hey what do i know let's read the article um, amid the weight loss treatment skyrocketing oh look at the faces amid the weight loss um, treatment skyrocketing to popularity surgeons believe that Hollywood is experiencing a spike in the side effect known as Ozempic face several claim the Daily Mail that celebs from John Goodman to Sharon Osbourne are among those hard, hard, hit hardest by the alleged condition for the uninitiated some side effects of taking Ozempic include sunken eyes gaunt cheeks saggy skin often making user appear older and more deflated. Ozempic face is essentially the same characteristic that we see when patients have rapid weight loss, says Dr. Samita Ramadan Ramanadadam. Ramanadham, Ramanadam, a plastic surgeon from New Jersey. We see a loss of volume in the face, and when we lose fat in the face, we see signs that the cheeks are more sunken in, more sagging skin, and general hollowing out of the features. As you can see there, what's her face? Jessica Simpson is a proponent of Ozempic. The injectable treatments mimics a natural occurring hormone that tells the brain it's full, thereby curbing the appetite. Ozempic fat-fighting capabilities have understandably made it all the rage in body-obsessed Hollywood, which has allegedly resulted in the aforementioned rise in deflation, according to experts. After examining pics of 15 celebs who experienced a major weight loss, more translation, a panel of surgeons um, speculated that at least half of many suffered from the Ozempic emanci that emanci emanci emaciation. The surgeons analysed the faces of actor John Goodman, 71, who shed nearly 200 pounds god damn it well done john goodman is that him 200 pounds since 2007 god what did he used to look like i don't remember what he used to look like i'm not gonna lie john good i'm sure he always had a, an old face wow god damn it bro he's lost a ton of weight in it fair play to him fair play to big john fair play to big fucking john to be fair, he does look considerably... I'm not going to lie. He looks good fat and, and he looks good on Ozempic. I'm not going to lie. As an older dude, I think it's fine because he's older anyway. I think he looks perfectly okay on both sides. I'm not going to lie. I think he looks good fat and he looks good on Ozempic. Obviously, his skin is a bit more plump and taut here as opposed to here. But if he wanted to, he's got the money. He could probably get himself a nice fucking facelift and a, a, bit, of a, a bit of a tuck here and there. You get get Brian Cannon's number of the eyelid surgeon. Get his eyelids tucked in and you'll be fine. But he looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. John Goodman looks pretty good. Skinny or fat. I'm not going to lie. I just don't remember him being that fat. Oh, he's the guy. Yeah, true. Okay, cool. I honestly didn't know. I honestly didn't clock it. That's the problem with being fat though, isn't it? No one realizes until you lose weight. Or you don't realize how fat you are until you lose weight. It's the annoying thing about fucking weight loss. 
you don't actually notice how big you were until the weight actually comes off. Then you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I looked like that. I can't believe I looked like that. But yeah. For to be fair, exactly. He looks good. Exactly. That's a, that's the thing. Um, in, in, in a Gerard Melleric, for a white guy, and for somebody who's losing weight and he's late, you know, in the latter end of his year, he does look good for 71. Let's be fair. And you know how white people age? He looks pretty decent. Let's be fair. He looks pretty decent. Okay. He looks pretty decent. So big up John Goodman. Sure. Respect. Um, Goodman was has denied taking Ozempic and Roseanne actor credited dieting, exercise and giving up booze. I believe him. I believe him. I definitely believe him. Why would he lie anyway? Do you know what I mean? It's dumb to lie. You see more lines, more wrinkles, more deflation in his face um, as he loves as he loses weight compared to when he's heavier. Um, these changes are generally a typical of overall weight loss, regardless of whether his weight loss drug has been used. So yeah, he he looks more natural to me, to be honest. Um, also, don't obviously don't take don't tell him to take off his t shirt. You know what I mean, but doesn't matter. He's seventy one year old man. Do you know what I mean, fuck all that shit. Um, also on the list is a singer Robbie Williams, who admitted in a fall that he was taking something like Ozempic without specifying the treatment. Ramadana believes it was evident in his vicious describing you can see hollowing under the eyes really robbie williams took fucking ozempic not robbie williams come on man my hero i love robbie williams he's my hero he's my fucking north star robbie williams is on ozempic as well oh man fuck oh my god bro yeah to be fair he has always said he struggled with his weight over the years isn't it so if you're an if you're an actor or celebrity at like this who that's the thing because imagine if you're a celebrity right and you've got all the money in the world to do whatever you need to lose the weight i would understand why you're gonna jump on ozempic because you know how hard it is to lose it because you tried you've had diet you've had the right you've been on the right diets you've had nutritionists you've had chefs home gyms you're big up um bro my cat steve needs ozempic ps birthday went well <laughs> big up, big up, big up, big up. Hope you're on. Okay, nice one, nice one. Yeah, big up your cat, Steve. Is that your cat? Your, your cat's name? I love when people give their pets real human names. I'm on it's one of my favorite things. I actually prefer that than you know whatever petty names. I think calling your cat a real human name is fucking amazing. I fucking love it. Big up, Steve. Um, but yeah, big up, bro. Also, big up, bro. Appreciate you for the super chat, brother. But yeah, um. As I was saying, I understand celebrities getting on Ozempic more than regular people because they've had the resources and the means to get on every diet, every workout plan, and they know how hard it is to lose weight. I don't blame them for being like, you know what, fuck this. I've tried everything. I've literally tried everything. I've had a fucking army, you know, a fucking former Navy SEALs guy wake me up at 4 a.m. in the morning to go on runs, whatever. I'm just going to take this fucking shot. I understand why they do it. I really do. Cause to be fair, he he looks okay. I don't know why this all this some I don't I don't know maybe the whole gaunt thing is is dependent. Maybe if you work out as well, it kind of helps. And also he, he doesn't drink as well anymore. Um, Rob Williams is sober now, so I think he I think he looks okay. I'm not gonna lie, I think he looks okay. I don't actually see the issue here with the with the Rob, old Robbie Williams. He looks perfectly fine to me. Let's see, Robbie. Let's put Robbie Williams or Zempic. Yeah, he looks okay. He looks perfectly fine to me. Oh, he he, he kind of looks like Evil Morrissey. No, does he look like Evil Morrissey? Rob Williams is kind of looking like Morrissey here, a little bit Morrissey-ish. <laughs> I don't know. He looks a little bit like Evil Morrissey. I don't know if I'm that happy about it, you know. But fuck, bro, what happened in here? Yeah, he looks fine. He looks fine. The hollow. I think people make that. That's the thing. I think, as you can see here, Robbie Williams is like fifty. He's like ten years older than Brendan, and he's an Ozempic. And look how his face looks. I think it helps when you're not drinking. Brendan drinks, obviously. He doesn't sleep well. Tons of nicotine patches and shit. TRT plumping his lips. That's when it fucks up. But Robbie Williams is like fifty something. I think right. Robbie Williams is age. Robbie Williams age. I think he's like fifty. How old is he? Yeah, 50 years old. So he's 50 years old. I think that's perfectly fine for 50 year old, to be fair. He looks like he looks he looks he looks good. He looks good. 
So big up my guy Robbie Williams on the on the old big O. Um, other alleged Tinseltown um, sufferers include Jessica Simpson, Scott Disick. Le- Scott Disick is the one that looks fucking wild. He looks like he's really sick. And also he's hanging around this model, Jordan Barrett. I wonder, are they fucking or are they just friends? It's a strange relationship. Comes out of nowhere. He's a very well-known model um, who's also known to have a bit of buccal fat removal on his face. But yeah, um, Scott Disick looks fucking wild in the face. He definitely looks like he's he's he looks like he's been going through it. Do you know what I mean, he looks like he's been in the hospital for something mad. Okay, cool. I'm still waiting for Brendan to admit it. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for fucking. I'm waiting for our Brendan Shaw to just admit that he's on fucking Ozempic because it's so obvious that he is, but he just keeps lying about it. I really want him to admit it. That's what I'm waiting for. Why won't Brendan admit he's on Ozempic? Please, someone, someone, tell me. Why won't he admit it? Um, Reem is on Reem is on it or probably just took you know whatever he took but I need to fucking I need Brendan to admit he's on fucking Ozempic that's what I need him to do I need Papa to come out and just say you know what I'm on Ozempic Bappas I'm on fucking Ozempic oh that crying video man looking back now like looking back that crying video looking back how ex- how fucking exploitative you know glad his daughter's okay but jesus christ bro he uh yeah yeah he he got everyone there he definitely got everybody he definitely got everybody let's move on from that one we say his chin we say his chin on ozempic why would chin be on it <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Chin's been quite skinny for a while. To be fair, he lost a ton of weight. I think the normal way. That's why he's so paranoid about bread. I'm only gonna have half this bread. And it's like fucking shut up. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is just a random bandana. Now I'm looking at myself um, on the monitor here, and it kind of looks like it's a Palestine thing, but it's not free Palestine anyway. But it's not a Palestine. So if you're wondering if I'm doing a protest, it's not. I'm not doing some sort of like you know declaration here it's still free palestine but this is not a declaration this is just a regular head wrap that happens to have the same colors as the palestinian flag you know i'm doing an asap rocky (laughs) i'm doing an asap rocky at coachella is it is it as you know is he uh protesting is he not who knows exactly african man diaspora head wrap (laughs) az backpedaling is fucking hilarious (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> backpedaling on fucking palestinians love anyway let's move on um 